送禮自用街學，快買任何貨品即送禮品。And Cantonese means a lot to the 85 million native speakers in the world. In North America, it also means a lot to the heritage language speakers. Cantonese is not a dialect of Mandarin. Some people think that way. They have their unique history, their unique uh, development. Half of my family came over from Hong Kong. My dad speaks Cantonese, my family speaks Cantonese, and you know, I never really learned it fully growing up and wanted to be able to have conversations with my grandma. I have many doctors that come to my Cantonese class because they told me uh, they have many Cantonese speaking patients. And then I have some real estate agents, social workers, lawyers who have clients that speak Cantonese. Sometimes there's like grandmas on the bus that need help and it would be nice to be able to fully communicate with them and help them out. Less people are speaking Cantonese uh, in traditionally Cantonese speaking areas, which is worrying. Like uh, in the past, like, uh, like people from everywhere who came to Guangzhou, Guangzhou would be able to speak Cantonese uh, uh, because of the peers, the peers would teach them. The peers would teach them Cantonese in the past, but now only Cantonese families can pass on the language to the kids. I'm very sad to see um, the Hong Kong education system uh, has become um, sort of monolithic. Um, and Cantonese is such a rich, diverse, rigorous language, um, and then with an attempt to um, sort of eliminate it, it is very sad. So we are already seeing, witnessing the shift. Um, that's why uh, we need to keep Cantonese alive. <laughs>